welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i will show you guys how to use online tool design hill studio to create stunning graphic designs design studio is an online graphic designing tool you can create so many different types of design from social media posts to book cover design, brochures design, leaflets, you name it. You can create anything you want using Design Hill Studio. And best of all, you can create all of these for free. And you don't even have to be a graphic designer. You can just use their templates and change the templates based on your needs. So I will show you guys some examples in this tutorial. I have already done a couple of tutorials previously. You can check them up on the pop-up links above or in the description below. To access the Design Hill Studio, go to designhill.com slash studio, which will bring us to the Design Hill Studio homepage. And you guys can see in here, they have showcased some of their designs done using this studio, which looks really cool. Okay, so if you are new to Design in Studio, you can go in here and sign up for free using this button in here. I already have signed up previously, so I will go in here and log in with my credentials. So I'm going to enter my username and password and log in, which will bring us to the main studio uh, dashboard. In here, you will get access to all other services provided by Design Hill. What we are going to see in this tutorial is about Design Hill Studio. So to access that, you go to Studio and click on the dashboard here, which will bring us to the Design Hill Studio dashboard. As you guys can see, they have already categorized all the different type of designs you can create and you can see all the templates in here there are many many variety of templates you can design so many different types and below you will see your previous design uh, these designs are my previous tutorials i have done using uh, design in studio so once you save your uh, design it will always be there you can go back and edit okay so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to create a simple youtube thumbnail using Design Hill Studio. I know many YouTubers who are not designers struggling to create nice looking thumbnails for their YouTube content. Okay, so first you go in here in the template, select the YouTube thumbnail, which will bring us to the online editor. You can see on your left all available thumbnails. To edit one of these thumbnails, let's say you are creating a YouTube video for an iPhone 12 review. So we already have a review thumbnail in here just click on it which will open the thumbnail in the editor so now all we need to do is change the text let's say instead of ios i'm going to change this to iphone iphone 12 and for the photo you just select the photo this is an old version of iphone so if you want to change you can go to the photos and search for iphone in here go to photos and you can search for iPhones. Uh, since it's a relatively new iPhone, I don't think you can get a 12, iPhone 12 photo. But you can use one of these photos or let's say you have iPhone 12. Obviously, if you do the review, you should have iPhone. So take a photo of it and you can upload that via this custom image so you can upload any image using the custom image and also you guys can see my previous uploads also visible in the upload area so you can reuse your uploads again and again in the future as well okay all right so i already have an iphone 12 image saved in my computer so i will go in here select the upload and select the image to upload which will come in here as a uploaded image and just click on it which will bring it to the editable area and let's adjust the size of the image to fit into the full icon full thumbnail area and let's bring it backwards to bring it backwards go in here and select the position and select uh, to backwards or to back uh, in this case i'm going to select to back or you can choose alt control plus uh, open parentheses which will bring the image to back now our image is in the back but 
uh, we have our previous image. We don't need that image. So I'm just going to select and delete it. All right. So this is our thumbnail and we can change the color to fit into our thumbnail or we can change the design as well. First, let's say, let's change the color, select the text and go to colors and you can change the color by choosing one of these colors in here. Same for the other text also, the iPhone 12 text, just select this one, uh, go to the colors and you can select one of these colors. You don't have to select these swatches, you can use the color picker on top also. I'm just selecting this for make the tutorial shorter, you can select for 2012 as well. So once you select the color, you can see selected colors are appearing on top as the base swatch colors so you can reuse them in your artboard again and again okay so the next step this look nice but it's look very messy with the text and the image so what we can do is we can have some uh, shapes to cover up the text so it will look nice in the thumbnail to do that go to elements uh, in the elements you can see all uh, vector shapes which you can use in your artworks so for this one i'm going to choose the rectangle and once you select the rectangle it will place in here and you can adjust the size of the rectangle to fit in all your text and you can even bring the size uh, to only cover certain part of the text uh, only cover the certain text and go to position and you can rearrange them by bringing them backwards uh, you can use the keyboard shortcuts also control plus open parentheses and these are vector objects so you can change to any color you want same as text so i'm going to go in here and select the color and i will change this to blue color or any color you want and for the text select the text again go to the text color in here and you can select from our swatch all right so now once you are satisfied with your design just select this and make a copy uh, select this one and go in here and pick copy which will place another copy and you can place this underneath for the iphone text and you can rearrange and with the passion you can bring it backwards and again you can change whatever color you want i'm going to change this to a darker tone of blue uh maybe this one yeah and for the text again i'm going to change it to white color or blue color yeah this look better all right guys so once you are satisfied with your design you can go in here and give a name for your artboard and you can simply save in here so once you save it will be saved in your dashboard and you can go back to your dashboard in here for an example if you refresh you will see your artboard is available in here and you can just simply click on it which will open up again in the editor and you can edit make changes or even download using the download option in here as you can see we have different type of options when you are downloading you can choose the file type to png or jpg or pdf in this case i will leave as png and below you can choose the resolution by increasing how many x you want for an example if you choose uh, 2x it will be two times the size of width and height and if you choose 0.5x it will be half the size like 50% by 50% width and height so I will stick to 1x uh, in here and below you can choose whether you want a transparent PNG or a compressed PNG in this case we don't need a transparent PNG because this uh, image is a square image there's no transparency and we don't also need to compress the file and you can simply download from clicking here which will take some time to uh, process and once the process is done it will download to your computer you can go back in here and see our thumbnail is ready you can just simply upload this to youtube all right see how easily you can create uh, a design using this uh, design in studio and also one more thing i have to tell you guys all these images all these templates you see in here are royalty free and you can use any of these with their images or with their text or with the with the whatever the styles apply to that straight away for an example let's say you are doing a daily vlog or something if you want to use a thumbnail in here 
uh, for an example, this one in here, just select this one and you can straight away use this as your thumbnail. All you need to do is, let's say you want to change this uh, title to your own title, maybe uh, daily vlog or something. So I'm just going to type in here or maybe weekend vlog. So this is a weekend. It's look like weekend uh, vacation or chilling image. So I'm just going to type weekend and in here I'm going to type vlog, maybe capital letters. All right, so uh, this one you can straight away use as your thumbnail image. There is no royalty problem. Everything in here can be used in your artwork. All right, and also let's say you want to change the font style. You can go into fonts in here and select uh, whatever the font you like. There are so many different types of fonts in here. If you want something fancy or something like this or even uh, something which look a little bit more uh, nicer for this design maybe this one so you can uh, change different type of fonts and increase the font size in here and you can customize so many things uh, for the fonts as well so you have a lot of option in here for you to uh, change and see and I'm just going to select this font and uh, maybe uh, this look a little bit bigger. But when you design a thumbnail, you must be careful because the text must be visible in your mobile phone as well. And so uh, bigger, it uh, doesn't mean in your big screen, it's going to be big and visible in your uh, mobile. So you must be careful on that one also. So this is all basic stuff. And once you're done, you can rename and save as a new uh, thumbnail image or again if you want you can download it straight away using the download option uh, and you can see guys in here there are so many templates for you guys to explore and you can use these templates you can customize change the image change the text and uh, you can have so many different type of variations. So this is only one uh, design I show you guys in this tutorial. I have done tutorials creating Facebook posts, cover designs, Instagram posts and many more. Uh, go and check it out. And a uh, link for this uh, site also uh, mentioned in the description below. Please uh, check it out guys and thank you for watching. See you guys in the next uh, tutorial.